Why, that's the dwarven sound device Sindri used during the Battle of Ragnarok. We might still find use for it yet. <laughs> Freya, I can't believe it. Wait, that can't be. Lord Tyr. Is this an illusion? No, brother. No, I think it's the real deal. Mimir? Is that you, old friend? In all the important ways, aye. There was such a commotion. If Odin learns what you've done... Odin is dead. The realms are at last free of him. You're safe. Odin's dead. And Asgard fallen. So the reign of the Aesir is truly over. That's quite a lot to take in. And you are. His name is Kratos. Kratos? I, I know that name. Come. You need real shelter. Food. No. No, what I need most now, I think, is to reflect on what you've told me. I need space, if you would grant me that. Very well. Our home is in the realm between realms for the moment. 
You can find us there when you're ready. Kratos. I know you from somewhere. I'm sure it will come back to me. Until then. trust anything after what we've been through but with Odin gone I have no cause to doubt it our paths will cross again of that I'm sure where to now <gasps> Well, now we know what this prison's for. This is where Odin stashed those he would camouflage himself as. Makes sense. If you're going to imitate someone, you wouldn't want them walking around. Why not kill them? He must need them alive in order to assume their form. Aye. Odin likely wanted Tyr dead for a multitude of reasons. But he knew Tyr would be more useful alive. Your god of war has truly returned. What now? He'll want to stretch his legs, I imagine. Imprisonment stokes wonderlust. Not that I need to remind any of us of that. Oh, heading off already? 